Good morning, fourth graders. It is 4.40 in the morning, Easter Sunday, and uh, we'll be feeding cows this morning. So I've got the mixer tractor started and warming up and uh, tell handler started and warming up. And I will be going to check for baby calves right now. Well, no baby calves this morning, but since I'm up here to check for baby calves, I also check out how much feed that the cow has used. So this uh, pen right here, as you can see, there's some left over. So I have to adjust the diet and I will probably take about 700 pounds off uh, that diet. But you see down there, that's about perfect. You don't want much left. That one's pretty good too. Uh, if they don't eat it all and you dump more feed on top of this feed, that feed will get old pretty fast. It's usually good for about two days, but Driving past the milking parlor, I can see that cows are being milked and everything is going. I will be checking this barn right now and that'll also tell me if they're on schedule or not. Right now, Joseph is scraping the pen. And a little bit heavy on that side, but not terrible. And that side's about right on, so I won't adjust too much here. Alrighty, I pulled the tractor into the middle of the bag pad so I can begin to fill. So first I turn it on, turn the PTO on. I rev it up to about 1500 RPM or 800 PTO RPM. No need to go wide open, all it does is burn extra fuel. So. First ingredient today is mineral. Don't need much of it and it's expensive. so. I will shovel 12 shovel holes into the bucket. So now I'll turn on the scale here. The scale is attached to the mixer. I already turned that one on. So I'm going to zero out the scale. It's at zero. Now we can start adding ingredients. Second ingredient is cottonseed. It calls for about a thousand pounds, so I'll fill it to 1,300 pounds. Next will be the protein mix. Diet here calls for about 2,600 pounds, so I'll fill it to 3,900. And if you guys are wondering where I get these numbers, I have a diet list right here. So I'm feeding for 24,000 pounds, so it tells me there how much of each ingredient and then right there it tells me what the scale should say if it's zeroed out. So I have from 20,000 all the way to uh, 28,750 pounds. So it gets adjusted quite a bit. Next I'm going to add uh, 2,600 pounds of corn. It's just ground corn. Next on the list is a little haylage. I gotta break it off from the feed. It can be difficult. Sometimes not really. But yeah, we pack it into these bunkers here and put a plastic top over it. And uh, it ferments. That way it preserves the feed. For the last and main ingredient of the diet, I will load about 10,000 pounds of corn silage. It's going to take about six bucketfuls. Well, I begin dumping. I just drive along and evenly dump in front of them. I do have to stop and come in here and turn on the manure pump. <laughs> And now I'm back at the farm to repeat four more times. So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed.